Alrighty, man. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Hey, man. I'm tired. I just spent four hours, four, fixing my car. It was 105 degrees today. I'm fresh out the shower. I'm still hot. It's 90 degrees right now. It ain't. It's supposed to be 102 tomorrow. I'm just happy my car is up and running again. I had a brake. I had a brake failure. My my brake line went bad. Um, my brake line went bad for some odd reason. I don't know why. I'm gonna drink the last of this water. <laughs> so my weekend has been terrible. But it's all good though. I'm still breathing, I'm still feeling good about myself, you know. Oh man. And I said, I feel good about myself today because I actually did something. Why is my green screen so fucking ghetto? Out of here. So, yeah, like, I'm, ha I'm proud of myself today because, for one, I fixed my car and I did it on my own. I didn't go to a shop. I didn't pay. The, I, bro, the, the shops down here are terrible, bro. The shops where I'm living at are terrible. These motherfuckers will charge you three hundred to four hundred dollars for anything, bro. I asked for the brakes to get. I asked for once. I remember one time I, I asked just to get uh, uh the brakes done and get a brakes and a tune up done. They said five hundred dollars. I said I said fuck to the no. And I just did the brakes myself. So I've been very self reliant, do it yourself type of person. I still ain't did the tune up yet, but I'm gonna get that done eventually. I need to get that done. Um, yeah, so I spent four hours fixing up my fucking car. I am tired. I've been riding the bus for the past four days. I am pissed off. I've been riding the bus for the past four days. It's been in the 90s. Now it's in the hundreds. It's hot as hell. Walking to work. And I live at the end of the block. So imagine I got to walk from the end of the block all the way to the main street. So imagine how many fucking long. Imagine how long I have to walk to fucking work. Just to the fucking bus stop. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. It's been bad for me this whole weekend, bro. But I'm I'm good now. All the videos you saw, that was all before everything went out of control. I did all the all them videos that you saw. Uh, just note that every video you see between Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, most of them are recorded on Friday. Because Friday, like I said, I get off at 6. So I have more time on my hands to do all these reaction videos. Try to get them done before midnight. And then I'll be good. Like, like as y'all can see. And then Tuesday, I come back and then I restart doing shit again. You know, I start adding videos. I, I, I normally do about 10 videos. Bro, my fucking green screen pissing me off, bro. Oh. Um, I normally do about 10 videos, so that way I can get at least two days worth of videos for y'all, and I can focus on other things like the, because the, the video game recording, the video game shit, that takes time, that's very tedious, um, versus just doing the reaction video, because it could, that vid, reaction videos, I don't react to no reaction video. I really don't do reaction videos past 20 minutes unless it's like a movie unless it's like a movie review if it's a movie review then most definitely I, I'll give you that but anyways though <laughs> um, yeah so I just I just want to let y'all know what's been going on with me man I'm tired 
I'm tired and I am fucking tired. Okay, my legs hurt. I had to walk through this heat. I finally got my car back up and running. Oh man, I'm so happy. Can't wait to be back on the road, man. Could drive my car again. But now we gotta deal with this bitch again. God damn it. <laughs> Zion, why you fuck with this bitch, man? Why? Why, Zion? This bitch is a threat. This bitch is a threat to the NBA. This bitch is a threat to Zion's mental health. Zion out here putting out cryptic distress calls and shit. That's what we're going to call them. We're going to call them scripted. We're going to call them... Scripted dis distress calls. And my thing is, Zion, why you fuck the bitch? Why you just didn't fuck the bitch and just keep it like a fucking thing? You could have pulled up on her and been like, baby, I'm Zion Williamson. I'm the number one draft pick. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to drop this monkey dick in you, hoe. What's happening? That's what you should have did. You the prize, my nigga. You are the prize. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, nigga Tiana Trump out here fucking LaMelo. Damn near the whole, the damn near the whole NBA done fuck Tr Tiana Trump. Antonio Brown fucking T Tina Trump, man. Tina Trump out here sucking everybody dick, nigga. And I understand you don't want community pussy. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Tina Trump been passed around. But but understand this, my nigga. Why would you pay a porn star, bro? That's my biggest question, bro. My biggest question is why did you pay a porn star? Why? I'm fucking green screen, bro. This shit pissed me off. Why would you pay a porn star? Damn near 100k a month. Nigga, don't feed wild. That's why they tell you don't feed wild animals. Because they come back expecting more. And when you don't give them what they want, they become very volatile. Nigga, do you not know this? That's why you don't feed raccoons. That's why you don't feed foxes. That's why you don't feed uh, fucking squirrels or deer. You don't feed them. Okay? Unless you own like a farm or an animal reserve or something like that. Then by all means, feed them. The fact that you are feeding this bitch. Of course she gonna be volatile. Of course she gonna do all this crazy shit. You were feeding a wild animal, nigga. You put yourself in this situation. Now this bitch is out here. And, and we all know she lying. We all know she lying. The bitch is lying. Saying that Zion hit her. Well, we know that's not true. Ain't nobody falling for that shit. Bitch, you clearly couch chasing And I hate to see that Zion is going through this, but brother, this is why you make this is why you make better decisions with your penis, bro. You can't have your you you can't just get the money. That's, bro, you need to talk to some uncles. So family members or somebody that can give you that game, bro, that can put that dog in you. So that way you ain't got to be out here like that. You out here like this, sadly, because you don't have the right people around you, bro. Yes, you are a hooper and all that. But, bro, you should have understood from the gate. You're Zion fucking Williamson. You're the number one draft pick. You got a $200 million contract. A shoe deal. You got your own signature fucking shoe. You was on the cover of NBA 2K, my nigga. You got Mountain Dew deals and shit like that, bro. All you had to do...
would just walk up to a bitch and be like, hey, what's poppin'? I'm Zion. You know me. Number one draft pick. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, LaMelo and all these niggas out here fucking on uh, Tiana Trump and shit, nigga. You think they paying this bitch? No. Ain't nobody paying this bitch. They, they fucking her. They fucking her. They fucking her because she around. Because she's available, nigga. You could have did the same thing with Mariah Mills. I'm pretty sure she would have fucked you just because you're a player, bro. And if she wasn't fucking you because... If she wasn't going to fuck you unless she was going to pay or something, then nigga, make it a one-time thing. Don't make it a, a allowance. You gave the bitch an allowance just to fuck her. Nigga, that's not cool, bro. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's nothing wrong with paying for the pussy. Let me just clarify that right now. There's nothing wrong with paying for the pussy, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just don't make it a habit, bro. You fuck them. You get what you get, and you dip, my nigga. You don't have to, you don't, it, bro. It's ne it's never that serious, bro. I understand some niggas they got they cl some niggas love to become clients. I get it. Some of you niggas love to be clients because that's your thing. That's how you get your rocks off or whatever. And you know what I'm saying that's how you get your rocks off. Me personally, listen, bro. My fucking green screen is pissing me off, bro. My fucking green screen is pissing me off. Ugh. Fuck back, nigga. But anyway, so, not, like, bro, I get it. You trying to get your rocks off, but don't make it a habit, bro. Pick up other habits, bro. Like, please, pick up other habits. Like, 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 seriously, bro. Like, pick up other habits, bro. You play basketball, okay? You, you, you don't have to, you don't have to, bro, you play basketball, bro. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of bad bitches sitting front row at a Miami Heat game, a Lakers game, a Chicago Bulls game, a New York Knicks, a Brooklyn Nets game, a Clippers game. You know what I'm saying? Denver, Denver got some bad hoes. You know what I'm saying? Texas, they got them, they got them big titty bitches down in Texas. Big booty, big titty bitches down in Texas. You know what I'm saying? You and then you in New Orleans, so you were all the freaks at, my nigga. You were all the freaky deep niggas at, bro. Atlanta? Come on, man. You 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 telling me ain't no bad bitches sitting front row that you could just be like, hey, you that like you could just holler at during the game. Like you, you can you can get your partners to holler at during the game or whatever, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like damn, bro. At, at least make her a, a a side piece for when you in your city, for when you in certain cities. Certain niggas just got certain bitches in certain cities, bro. When I go to Chicago, I got Lisa in Chicago. I got Stephanie in Atlanta. I got Emily up in fucking... I got Emily in Utah. I got fucking Amanda in New York. Like nigga, every every damn near a lot of basketball players got side bitches that they fucking on in certain cities, bro. You mean to tell me you couldn't have done that? Instead, you paying this bitch a hundred k a month, nigga. You put yourself in this situation. I can't stress it enough. You put yourself in this situation. You should have. You should have. You should have made better decisions with your dick, my nigga. For real. You should have made better decisions with your dick, bro. Because you was thinking with your dick on this one, bro. And now you got caught up, my nigga. Now you caught up in the game. Now, uh, nigga, all you had to do, all you had to do is what every NBA player does. Hell, I'm pretty sure even LeBron do it. Side bitch, certain city, that's what you do. Side bitch, certain city, that's what you do. You got a side bitch in Miami. You got a side bitch in Orlando. You got a side bitch in Atlanta. Like, damn, bro. You fucking up, bro. You put yourself in this situation. It's hard. I, I feel sorry for you because you a young man and you shouldn't be going through this. But at the same time, you put yourself in this situation, though. You, you was thinking with your dick instead of with your... Instead of with your head, bro. 
Don't pay no bitch 100K just to fuck, my nigga. Ain't no bitch worth a hundred. Ain't no pussy in this world worth a hundred k to fuck. If you think a hundred k is worth some damn pussy, nigga, you need to pick up a fucking hobby, bro. For real, my nigga, you need to be playing basketball. You need to pick up weightlifting. You need to pick up something, bro. Because fucking these porn stars and these Instagram thoughts and OnlyFan bitches and shit like that, that's only going to lead you down a path that, that every nigga is going through right now. Every nigga is fucking these Instagram and OnlyFans thoughts, getting them pregnant, and then coming back talking about some, man, that bitch ain't shit, man. That bitch got me on child support. She taking all my money from me. Of course. Because you thought with your dick, man. Instead of making it, it, instead of making future investments on yourself, bro, I'm twenty. I'm next month. I'm about to be twenty nine, bro. I'm damn near thirty. I ain't got no kids, and I've been fucking like a motherfucker. I've been fucking fucking. Okay, I've been fucking since I was ten, bro. If y'all don't believe me, go to my two K fifteen playlist. I got my whole virginity story over there. But like, oh, this fucking green screen, but nigga. Green screen gonna piss me off. I'm just saying though, bro. Like we like Zion. At some point, bro, you I I bro these I, I can tell you right now, this pussy pussy ain't worth it, bro. It's not. Pussy is not worth it, bro. If I'm making two hundred million dollars playing basketball, I'm focused on basketball, nigga. There ain't no fucking other thing I'm concerned with. These bitches come second, bro. These bitches come last. The last thing I'm worried about is ruining my fucking life because of a bitch. I'm a $200 million. Nigga, I'm buying jewelry. Nigga, I'm buying jewelry. I'm seeing the world. I'm expanding my brain, expanding my horizons. I'm investing. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do when I retire. You know what I'm saying? I'm making the right fucking moves in that position. If I'm playing basketball and I'm making $200 million, I am making investments on top of investments. I'm putting myself in the right place. I'm making sure that my shoes sell. I'm making sure that my jersey sell. I'm making sure that I'm right for the season. I'm doing everything possible. Brother, you is doing everything wrong. You come in. You always out of shape. That's number one. You're always out of shape. You barely play a full fucking season. You got holes on your mind. You focused on the wrong shit. You make it two hundred million dollars. Just hoop, my nigga. That's really all you gotta do, Zion. Just hoop. Fuck the other shit, my nigga. Just hoop. That's how you making the money. All this shit came to you so fucking fast, bro. But all you got to do is just hoop, my nigga. If you just hoop, none of this shit will go. Man, come on, bro. Just hoop, Zion. That's all we asking you, bro. Just fucking hoop. But anyways, though, let's get to this video of Chisel the Dies. I... Damn, I done went on for damn near 20 minutes. My bad. <laughs> Let's get into this video, bro. All right, so boom. I was under the impression that we had come to a consensus that we're no longer discussing Zion Williamson's personal nor sexual life. Facts. The only thing that should be discussed regarding Zion Williamson is his basketball career. Facts. However, it appears that despite his arch nemesis, Mariah Mills being <laughs> banned on Twitter. Get the fuck out of here! Stupid bitch! She is still <laughs> talking publicly and apparently a video that has since gone viral over the course of the past couple of days has now come across my desk. And a number of you are curious regarding my opinion. So let's now dive deep into what since transpired this past weekend. This is going to be the last time I talk about this shit. You guys. I literally did not want to come to the internet and I'm just tired oh of saving my God. face for this, this man that's completely disrespecting me to the world and I literally have to take this every time I come this on the some internet bullshit because, right here. because of this man. This is some literally. bullshit right here. Look at and this I'm shit. tired of it. He knows, he, he said he's going to send me $62,000. I have yet to receive that since June. I'm literally here. Like, he's literally a liar. 
You guys, everything he says, he's a liar. He's not who he says he is. I literally been saving face. I did not want to come to the world and let you guys know what he has been doing to me my entire so relationship. So because he didn't give you sixty two billion dollars, he's a woman, he's a woman, woman. and the NBA needs to know this. <laughs> and then this bitch pulled the Travis Scott. This I bitch pulled the Travis Scott. To this because I know he has so many endorsements. But Zion Williamson is a woman beater. This bitch wiping her eyebrow. And the he was paying me off so I won't come to the world and tell everybody. <laughs> that bitch lying. Woof. Violence of the domestic persuasion. That is a very, very heavy accusation. But, Miss Mills, I have a question for you. Why is it that you brought up the domestic violence. This bitch was doing After the Travis Scott apology, the bro. He had Fuck out of here. The Travis Scott apology. You had not yet she received. wiped her. <laughs> For somebody who has been a victim, isn't it odd that you would lean with the fact that you were told you would be getting paid money first rather than bring up the fact that you were a victim and abused? Seems like you have different priorities as it pertains to you being beat. Moreover, let's take a look down on, memory man. lane because Nobody since believe in that. June 3rd, right? Nobody outside of individuals who were privy to adult content knew who you were. Fact. And ever since the first week of June, only words that are coming out of your mouth. In fact, the only reason why you are Fact. relevant is... And my question, too, is why the fuck does she need the, 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 the 62000 anyway? Why do you need it? Why do you need it so fucking badly? Your OnlyFans is popping. Your views are up on Pornhub and all these other sites. Bitch, you good. You should be eating off that. If you ain't eating off that, then bitch... I don't know what to tell you, man. The fuck you need the sixty-two million for sixty-two thousand for? What do you need Zion's money for? You popping now? She doing this shit for clout. They doing anything for? I gotta get that song on here. They doing anything for clout? They doing anything for clout? Why does you need the sixty-two million? And your shit is popping. You popping right now, bro? You up right now? You could sell. You can sell incense for $20 right now and make bank, my nigga. Because niggas will buy that shit. You can sell candles. You can sell merch. You can, She should be doing and She should be making business moves. But instead, she's still attacking this man and bringing him down, bro. This shit is getting sad, bro. This shit is getting sad. It's getting wicked out here, bro. That's why I say, bro, relationships are overrated, bro. Just be fucking, bro. That's all I be doing, bro. I'm just fucking right now. I'm not interested in a relationship, little baby. I, if you want a relationship, I'm going to lie to you and say I'll do your relationship with you. But realistically, I'm going to fuck you for about three or four weeks and then I'm going to be done with you. <laughs> because you were play, play and from the by Zion Williamson. And you were on TikTok frequently making videos like this. Like my voice, it's you want. Casting for my new music video for YDC song. Comment below why you will be the perfect guy for this role. Many times were you in love? What you say? I was in love. I say one, one good time. One good time. You feel me? Only, only once. Hey guys, for the last time, I have thousands of ex boyfriends. Thousands. Thousands. So, oh, we're pretty like sure. Can you gotta tell us that? And I can talk about whoever I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about that particular person that you guys keep commenting about. Shut up, bitch! Now, Back. granted, I'm not one to say victims should carry themselves a particular kind of way. I think that's foolish, right? But one has to consider in this plea for help that Miss Mills took to TikTok to talk about. What did she say towards the end? She had been trying to protect Zion Williamson's image. But how though? Because over the course of the past five weeks, you've done nothing but libel and slander this man publicly across social media. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho. At night she's screaming, um, my, 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 my mind. Oh, she's hot but a psycho, so left but she's right though. At night she's screaming, um, my, 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 my mind. 
a crazy bitch on Zion's dick on Twitter talking crazy and she won't stop talking shit. Got digmatized by New Orleans prize. Now she's sick cause Zion casted her bitch ass to the side. Nasty bitch. Bitch. Stupid bitch. Moreover, you recognize the weight of the accusation you make because you went out of your way to specify in your own video, this very video, that he indeed has endorsement deals. So you recognize what accusations like this can do to somebody. I literally did not want to come to this because I know he has so many endorsements. But Zion Williamson is a woman beater. <laughs> and the reason he was paying me off is so I won't come to the world and tell everybody. And yet you claim you held off on making these accusations public behind trying to protect somebody's image despite the fact over the course of the past five weeks you've done nothing but deface this man's image i'm very confused here doesn't it seem as if there's a bit of uh, i don't know hypocrisy in what's being said here especially considering the fact that you mariah were the same one weaponizing the fact that you and zion allegedly have a sex tape together in the hopes of not only getting him traded from the pelicans but also having him lose the very endorsement deals you claimed you didn't want to talk about domestic violence in the hopes that he would not lose somebody lies yeah. now somebody lies I, I, I don't know who, but I'm telling you, somebody's lying. It's two <laughs> completely different stories. That bitch lying. See, this is why I don't read. Because only thing we saw regarding this woman's Twitter before it got removed was, He drives you crazy. You just can't sleep. Got you so excited. Zion stroked you deep. He got you crazy. And you're not oh, all right. Hey, 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 hold, hold on, go back up. Hold up. Is she butt? Is she booty butt naked right here? Is, is, she got a bush or something going on? Or is that a thong? That's probably a thong. Yeah, that's probably a thong. Probably a thong. I thought that was a bush. I was about to say, hold up, hold up. He got you crazy, and you're not all right. Zion's meat stick got you tweeting all damn night. Stupid bitch! Hold on, hold on, brother, go back up. Hold on. Zion's meat stick got you, you, you tweeting. You, you scrolling too fast, bro. All damn night. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Shit, I, I'm not interested in this shit no more, but hey, I'll take it, though. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't, want, I don't want nothing to do with the bitch. I'm letting that be known right now. I don't want nothing to do with the bitch. I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with the bitch, but you know what I'm saying? You know, one night she just feeling it in the mood and you just so happen to be walking by she like, you wanna fuck? Free charge? Yeah. I'm this bitch learn. Looking for a problem. Someone who knows that right. Without even falling down. Gotta be compatible. Stick me to believe it. Can't wanna break you off. I promise that you won't wanna get off. If you're hard ass, let's do it. Ride it, my pony, my saddles, with it, come and jump on it. You hold it, let's do it. My pony, my saddle, when it's coming, jump on it. <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my green screen from being ghetto. My green screen being ghetto right now, boy. 
stupid bitch. <laughs> the type of person who would go on a tirade like this publicly for weeks. This isn't a matter of a few minutes, <laughs> hours, days, if you will. This was up from the moment that Zion had announced that he was indeed having a child with a woman. Up until Shorty got banned off of Twitter. Uh, I heard uh, him and old girl, him and old girl that's pregnant, they ain't, uh, she... She ain't really fucking with Zion right now. I heard that through the grapevine that she ain't fucking with Zion right now. Shawty that's pregnant? Like I said in the last video, she gonna put that nigga on child support. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? It's a wrap, bro. Shawty that's pregnant? It's a wrap, bro. Zion, you fucked up, bro. You made very bad decisions with your dick, bro. For real. Your dick made some very bad decisions for you, bro. You about to fuck it up, bro a couple of weeks ago and still she's talking about this man up until this particular point we should go and revisit the origin of how these two even got involved in her own words all right so this is my last time clearing up stuff because i'm just tired of y'all on the internet just making up fairy tale stories and narratives like uh, uh, bring the camera down so I, I need to look at something so, anyway let's start the story from the top Bring the camera There's down, sub. I'm trying to see some. Has money, da, da, da. Like, there's a thousand rich dudes. Like, I'm trying to see some titties, bitch. Like, I ain't trying to look at you. I've been somebody for a long time. Your fake ass you face. You know, you your have face ain't real. That person. It's not just old. They have money. Your like, nose ain't fake. Your money. lips ain't fake. Your cheeks ain't I've fake. Always dated rich your eyes ain't so real. Your eyes ain't real. Like, I could literally walk outside and I'm begging to buy my groceries, begging me for everything. So, people talking about, oh, this is fake. That means it's true feelings. Bitch, scroll down. That means Oh, she's just in it for the money like literally i've always had rich dudes like it's not about the money like it was real and we had a real situation and oh, we still have a real situation so like the fact that the matter is like not everybody's a gold digger like i'm sorry that's what i attract rich and second of all i'm not what y'all saying i am i'm not even gonna say the word on here because it's disgusting like First of all, you the person thought. contacted me first. Let's get that I never now, even contacted him. I didn't even know who he was. Like, I literally you didn't know, know who, who he was. was. The person was like, okay, you know was. I like you, whatever. Let me get your Snapchat. You know Let's talk was. some more. Bang. I literally did not know who he was. I didn't go scoping for nobody. Like I said, I was rarely watching basketball at that time. Only reason why I watch basketball now is because, obviously, you know, the person that I know is playing. That's the only reason why I watch the game, you know, so I can, you know, whatever. But other than that, like all this, like, oh, I'm, I was searching, I was lurking. Like, I don't lurk for men. I never had to lurk for men in my life. They come to me and yeah, I'm not even being cocky. I've days. gotten free shit all my freaking life. Since the, I used to get free everything, literally all my life. And what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about? was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> man. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you not recognize there's a common denominator in I'm not her paying no attention to this. She no titties. I'm not interested. A couple of things. For one, she kept mentioning money and the status of individuals who she just so happened to date. Let's keep she it up. Honey, you weren't dating these individuals. I they ain't were saying she a gold and dumping it going about the remainder of their she ain't messing Nobody with was no courting you for niggas. marriage. Nobody was courting you for a relationship. Only people were there to sleep with you. Give you a couple of pipe and move on forward. But we're not talking about that right now. Secondly, it seems like everything with Zion and her is rooted around money. Because let's consider how she publicly addressed Zion when the news of the pregnancy since came out. Because what was her big, you know, atomic bomb drop on social media? It was what? That Zion had given her an allowance of a hundred plus thousand dollars per month. This is how we simping. Oh, uh, what? I said, I said, this is how we simp. And this should be a prime example of why sipping ain't easy and why y'all shouldn't be doing this shit. Y'all niggas really think being a simp is cool. This is a prime example of why you don't simp. You ain't gotta be a pimp either. You could just be an average Joe. There's nothing wrong with being an average Joe. You ain't gotta be a player. You ain't gotta be a player, player for the Hemi Ladies, but at least. Fellas, protect yourself. Protect your mental. Protect your physical. Protect your protect your stability, bro. Don't don't just fall in love. Don't be no sissy dick ass nigga, bro. That's what Zion is. Zion 
is the prime example of a sissy dick. For those of you that don't know what a sissy dick is, a sissy dick is somebody that just fall in love with the first thing he see and get him pregnant, put a ring on it, not even really trying to get to know the person. She just let him fuck, so he fell in love. You fell in love with the pussy, my nigga. You not fall, you not seeing the person though. Zion should have saw the red flags from the get go, but nah, since he paying the bitch, he a sissy dick pretty much. Simping, you stupid fucker. This is how we simping. Oh She's a Harlan. Oh my god, she looked terrible. Right? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Bitch, what the fuck is this? You look like an alien right here, bitch. What the fuck? This bitch is like an alien, bro. Bro, <laughs> Zion, what the fuck was you look? This bitch look terrible, bro. What is this? She look terrible right here, bro. She look like. Uh, She look like the opioid crisis, my nigga. What the fuck is going on here? Lips ashy and shit? The fuck? Hell no. This bitch look like the opioid crisis. I'm out of here. And this is how we simping. What is the significance of that? Well, of course, the money. Then, in her expose of her being a victim, what did she state before she had even gotten to the fact that she had been abused? The fact that Zion hadn't sent her $62,000. And she don't need it. He said he's going to send me $62,000. I have yet to receive that since June. I'm literally here. Like, he's literally a liar. Because this is what it's all about, right? Motherfucking cock sucking money. Yeah. This courtesan wanton wench of an individual harlot that just so happens to be this here Mariah Mills. Would you go out of your way to tattoo this man's name on your face? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 way, she fucked her face Whether up. Whether real or fake, and for all intents and purposes, I do I mean, she could've got a neck tattoo, but you gonna fuck your face up. But that's not what we're talking I mean, go ahead, about, right? do you. Why would she go above and beyond to keep this man's name in her mouth while claiming that she indeed is some form of victim. It just doesn't make sense. That bitch is crazy. Moreover, remember before Mariah Mills had gotten removed off of Twitter, she sent a tweet directed towards Zion Williamson saying, you better hope and pray I'm not indeed pregnant. Then she proceeded a few days later to post this TikTok here. That crazy bitch claims she's pregnant. The crazy bitch claim she's pregnant oh my god whether legitimate or not and personally i believe it's the latter because not I ain't saying, I ain't implying nothing, but I'm just saying, bro. You what? I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> I ain't implying nothing, I'm just saying. You what? 
Not a fraction of my existence believes this woman happens to actually be pregnant. Let's just consider the timeline of everything. You took to Twitter after the news had broken that he got somebody else pregnant. You then proceeded to threaten this man, claiming he better hope that you are not indeed pregnant. Couple of days up until, I believe, about a week later, you then go public on Twitter, or I should say on TikTok, claiming that you are indeed pregnant. Fast forward a couple weeks later, you now come out and say he hasn't sent you $62,000. Therefore, you wanted to out him as a domestic abuse. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, you were pregnant. What kind of life did you want your offspring to now have? Chaos. 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 Nothing makes sense. But what's so fascinating oh, is this up. deranged individual is still able to continue the circus on social media with no penalty. I get removed on this app, I'll just come to this app and continue the same tomfoolery. It's getting ridiculous. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Okay? Oh, the NBA finna be on her ass. <laughs> The NBA for to be on her ass again. Just believe the NBA on her ass again. He was a simp. I already know it. No sauce. He was a dude who had no kinds of plays in his pocket as it pertains to dealing with women. Because this is how he spoke to people on Snapchat. Hi, handsome. Oh, hello, beautiful. Hi. Why are you so handsome? Why are you so beautiful? I'm not. Oh my God. Stop. I almost hung up. You stop saying that. You're beautiful. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? And now look. The, the joke of the NBA. And let me tell you something. Unless Zion Williamson goes on to win some championships, perhaps puts on a lifetime performance at a dunk contest, goes on to be a Hall of Famer or something of that nature, this man will be known for this for the foreseeable future. Because although the internet has 15 minutes of fame and things of that nature, there are certain things that just happen to stick to you. Like I stated in the past regarding Nate Robinson, he got knocked out by Jake Paul. Till this day, they only reference Nate Robinson as the dude who got knocked out by Jake Paul. Forget the three-time slam dunk champion. Forget one, being one of the best little men who had ever played in basketball. Forget being one of the best athletes to have ever played. Take away the accolades and everything else. You have to consider that man that small, being able to jump that high and play in the NBA that long, he is truly amongst one of the best athletes to have ever played. Because it's more than just his basketball talent. He was a great athlete across the board, but nobody gives a fuck about that. He's known today as Jake Paul's bitch. And that fight happened when? During the pandemic? So for Zion, for the foreseeable future, this is what your reputation is. Because of the decisions that you made, you could have slept with anybody. But you chose this woman. For shame. You brought shame upon yourself and your family. There's got to be some form of obsession that's transpiring here. Let's just bring this home and wrap this up. Here's my biggest problem that I have. For one, Zion, I would expect him to have lawyers have this woman um, sent to court expeditiously. I would like to see this woman sued for libel, slander, and a bevy of different things defacing this man's image. As such, she has diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity. Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Fuck all that! Get out there! That bitch! And get out there! Now granted, could there be some legitimacy to her claims? Perhaps? Could Zion indeed be an abu abuser? Absolutely, he could! Yeah. But isn't it kind of difficult to believe these claims up until this particular point? There can be evidence. There definitely can. I can change my tune as it pertains to believing her being a victim one way or another. But I just cannot wrap my mind around this obsession of social media use. All of this other stuff could have been taken care of behind closed doors. Facts. If you truly had an issue with this man, you have his number. She claimed on Twitter that he had contacted her after the news had broken that he was having a child by a different woman. So you mean to tell me you couldn't pick up the phone and engage in discourse with this man behind closed doors? Facts. Why did it have to come to the internet? Overall, my biggest problem with this entire situation that has been consistent over the course of the past four years regarding everything on the internet is the fact that it is indeed on the internet. So I will say this to anybody who just so happened to be out there. Please be careful who you happen to associate with. Because this right here is incredibly pathetic. Do I believe her? Absolutely. Do I feel bad for Zion? Absolutely not. 
You did this to yourself. Gentlemen, be better. Ladies, don't be like this hard. And overall, would you stop existing solely for social media? Because this is ridiculous. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video, but you haven't subscribed? Oh my goodness, man, look. Zion, brother. I don't know what to tell you. Zion, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. This bitch claiming she got claiming you domestically abused her. Then she claiming you pre then she pregnant by you. Nigga, you in a nigga, you in the world. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking green screen stop, bitch. Zion, I don't know what to tell you, bro. She got you by the balls. She got you by the balls right now, bro. Now, obviously, I don't believe her on on the domestic dispute, but the but the pregnancy thing that's scaring me a little bit. Cause if she is pregnant with your baby, my nigga, eighteen years, eighteen years, she got one of your kids got you for eighteen years. I know somebody paying child support for one of his kids. Your baby mama car crib is bigger than his. You will see him on TV any given Sunday. We will see him and drive off in a Hyundai. She was supposed to buy your shorty Tyco with your money. She went to the doctor got light bulbs with your money. She walked around looking like Geico with your money. Should have got that short Geico for your money. I fuck that lot up. But if you ain't no punk, how do we want preened up? We want preened up. Yeah, it's something that you need to have. Cause when she leave your ass, she gon' leave with half. 18 years, 18 years, and on the 18th birthday, he found out it wasn't his. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead. I can't tell you no more, bro. That that whole Kanye verse is gonna be your life going forward, bro. That 18 verse, boy. That 18 verse is gonna be your entire existence from here on out. That is the signal for it. you. Fucked up. You fucked up. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You, you better you better fix this. She got you by the balls. She claiming you beat her. We don't believe that at all. Shit, you Shit. You can barely even talk to girls, let alone I doubt you would hit them. Shit. If anything, I would say she. I, if anything, I, I, man, look. Man, you need to make better decisions with your dick, bro. For real, I ain't, I ain't gonna repeat it no more, bro. You really need to start making better decisions with your dick, bro. For real, like you can't just be out here fucking porn stars like this, bro. Like I said, bro, you could have just hit up Lamelo. You could have hit Lamelo up on the phone and been like, "Yeah, what's up with uh, what's up with uh Tiana Trump? Can I get her number?" I'm pretty sure she would have fucked it, man. What? She would have gave you that guac guac. She would have gave you that guac guac and that good good, my nigga. It's plenty of hoes out here that's fucking for, bro. It's plenty of bitches that's fucking out here for cigarettes, bro. It's Instagram and OnlyFans models out here, porn stars. They out here fucking with for cigarettes and quarters. <laughs> you mean to tell me you couldn't you couldn't find you one that did that shit? Come on, Zion. You putting yourself in this position, bro. It, it's it's going you going outside, brother. This video damn near an hour, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I will play some songs, but songs can't help you at this point. That Kanye verse is the best I could do, cause I don't know what can help you at this point. Mariah Mills got you by the balls, sir. You are in a world of trouble. Only way you gonna get out this bitch. 
There's two things. This bitch, this bitch mysteriously come up missing. <laughs> Meaning you might have to get the NBA and a couple other people. <laughs> I ain't implying nothing, but I'm just saying, my nigga. I'm not implying nothing, but I'm just saying, my nigga. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This bitch couldn't come up missing. <laughs> That's option number one. I'm not implying that. I'm just saying. This bitch could come up missing. Or... You take this bitch to court and get her to shut the fuck up once and for all. You, you make a settlement out of court. I hope you getting a DNA test to prove that that baby belongs to you. I hope you ain't just going to accept that on the chin. You get you a DNA test first. Get that out the way. Then you take her ass to court. You get what you, 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 you handle that situation. And then after that, you cut that bitch off, man. You cut that bitch off for good, man. You got to, bro. And I don't know how you're going to work things out with your current baby mama, but... Yeah, nigga, it's looking like you finna be on child support for a good penny, too. And you making... And your money is documented, my nigga. You... you Y'all niggas got to make better decisions with your dick, man. Y'all Gen Z niggas, man. Y'all all, all want to be inclusive. You, y'all, and I understand it's not your fault. Society has made you fear women. It's not your fault. Gen Z, we understand. As a millennial, to Gen X, to the boomers, to the solid, we all understand. The way how shit works now, you are afraid of women. You are afraid of women. You are afraid of being canceled. You are afraid of being looked at as a weirdo or as a pedo or as anything wrong. You don't want to be looked at in that light. And trust me, we understand. The older generations, we understand. But understand this. You need to take a chance, regardless. You don't... I don't really know how to explain it, bro. I just understand that Gen Z and Gen Alpha is pretty much fucked by society. Society has made it to where you have to fear women and bow down to women. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then women are women ain't even women no more. Women gotta fight just to be a be considered a woman now, because apparently they can't speak up for themselves no more. But anyway, so. That's just going to do it for this one, man. I don't really know what else to say, man. Zion, you did this to yourself, brother. You need to make better. I hope the older you get, the better decisions you make with your dick um, going forward. Because, brother, it's looking like you got you, you pretty much you pretty much a trap for eight. You pretty much got trapped for 18 years by OnlyFans, by OnlyFans chick. And now she about to take your ass. She about to take your ass to the cleaners. AKA child support. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's called the cleaner, sir. A lot of people don't call it child support. They call it the cleaners because they finna clean you out. Your bank account finna be gone, big fella. Yeah, so you might, you might, you better pray and hope that you still got them endorsement deals going forward because, man, it's gonna be fucking sad. But, anyways, though, tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you. And, fellas, Please make good decisions. Please make better decisions with your dick than Zion Williamson does. Because if you don't, you end up in these situations. Like I said, man, ain't nothing wrong being a play play for the MLAs. Ain't nothing wrong with being a regular Joe. If you a regular Joe and you just don't be a sissy dick and don't be a simp. That's all I ask. Whatever you decide to do, hey, if you gay, cool. Ain't nobody gonna judge you on that. It's 2023. Ain't nobody judging that shit no more. You gay, you gay. Alright, cool. But if you gonna be out here trying to have sex with these women, don't be afraid of them. They're human. Always remember that women are human. Just like you. They breathe and they breathe the same air you do. They bleed like you bleed. They hurt like you hurt. They have feelings. You do have to be under you do have to be considerably understanding with those with with women you know they can be very unstable at times but you should never fear them because as long as you show no fear they shall come near
<laughs> that's 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 that's, that's, that's some that's that's something that you should know. If you don't fear, they do come near. But anyways, though, man, I just hope that y'all just I just hope that y'all learn from this situation, man. Please make better decisions with your dick, cause this is this is every black man's nightmare. Fuck it, this is every man's worst nightmare. This is any man's worst nightmare, bro. For real. Oh my god, bro. This shit is terrible. So yeah, man. I uh, just make better decisions with your life, bro. For real. Don't be out here chasing pussy, man. Chase the goals, bro. If you try, like I said, bro. If you aiming for something right now. Put the pussy to the side, bro. Focus on the goal. Achieve the goal. Then go after the pussy, my nigga. Once you achieve that goal, then go after the pussy. I have no problem with you going after the pussy. Just do it after you achieve your goal. You know what I'm saying? Me, I ain't got no goals. My goal is to be a YouTuber. I love this YouTube shit. I want to do this full time and, for the, and make a living off this for the rest of my life. This, this shit is fun to me. I love doing this shit. This is my passion. So whatever your passion is, whether that be you hooping, or you a developer, or you or you uh, trying to be in the medical field, the teaching field, the the truck driving field, whatever you decide to get into, achieve that first and focus on your goals later on. That's all I ask. These bitches will come. Pussy will come. Like I said, it may not be the woman that you want, but it could be that woman that can that can make you a better person. But anyway, so that's just gonna about do it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace out.